<laughs> like, like, I'm talking literally 90 degree rotation. Like, his feet leave the ground. Reusing assets to black. Am I the only person where if I saw that, I would be like, I love this character even more. It's the, this best game ever made. We, we get to watch someone go 90, and it's great. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna head into. I believe this is Tilda a versus um. Tilda versus Vivi. Yeah, Tilda versus Vivi. This is gonna be an interesting matchup. So of course, this is most likely Lucario versus um Falco. Yes. And in my mind, you know, whenever I see Lucario, I always think, okay, how does the opponent kill Lucario? And the thing is. Tilde's combos, not only do they rack up all of this damage, but the fact that he can end up converting them into real hard, tangible stocks by the end of it is something that, like, Vivi has to be scared. It feels like at every moment, every step of this game, because one single slip up, you know, with the right read while they're in disadvantage, could be the absolute end for them. Yeah, it's... Spacey's always give Lucario a little bit of trouble, but... They only give you trouble if your main goal as Lucario isn't to scrap, is to try and be evasive and, and like utilize all these dashbacks, which are still strong. And Lucario can play not to get hit for a very long time. But when you play Lucario with that extra little bit of spice and that extra little bit of aggression where you know you can pick your spots, then things get a lot more dangerous for the spaces because they are still fast followers and Lucario still has really good falling aerial combos. Oh, that up B onto stage. It can be risky, but it works out really well for Vivi there. Nonetheless, all oh, these forward air drag downs. It feels like every single tool that Tilde uses in neutral can somehow, you know, end up leading into a big combo. <gasps> what percent was he? 40. At the start of that, he was at 41? All right, yeah. GG, shake my hand. I yep. mean, we are not, <laughs> I would not call this a GG already, but... If you're Tilde, now you have to, not only do you have to take this stock from Vivi, but this is Vivi with a whole bunch of aura and rage. All right, he gets the drag down there into the down tilt, but this is why you pick Lucario on this stage. Many, many a matchup, this isn't the greatest stage. It like kind of flits in between depending on your, your opponent, but against Falco, who is so light and is constantly trying to get in and look for these drag down combos and always hunting for his bevy of starters, you have the perfect opportunity to find ways to kill, especially underneath these platforms. Look how Vivi is circling around and, and falling through the platforms to find their starters and to find their really, really powerful kill tools. Ooh, this could be a really big start, but for the most part, we see Vivi throwing out these hitboxes, but Tilda just a little bit out of position, maybe a little bit scared of, you know, the potential that Vivi has, and as a result, he's not actually able to punish these moves that I think he was expecting. Yeah, you gotta respect how floaty Lucario can be sometimes. He can, <laughs> Lucario can get out of dodge, and if you find yourself out of position, that up air... It always killed. They just made it bigger. <laughs> now, to digress for just a second, it's worth noting that Tilde won Xeno last week. Took the whole dang thing. So, right now, the fact that ZV, that, that BV is scrapping with him like this, giving him such a rough time, the, you know, he's been getting more and more consistent lately, and you don't want, you know, we're in winner's quarters, but you don't want to be dropping in winner's quarters when you just had such a good showing last week. There might be a little bit of nerves or pressure that's starting to get to Tilde. It's good on Tilde to get that early stock with just a reversal out of shield. Now, VV had to take that 78, had to take that Falco tax in order to get back in this game. But a quick 60 and a nice pivot grab on Vivi's part. Uh, uh, Tilde needs to find a way off this platform. They do so with just a drop through Nair. Super solid combo. So we're gonna see Tilde hunt for the kill a little bit here. Good respect. Wow. That, that you see that the spacing, Vivi knows he can't punish, but instead he's punishing these jumps that come right after. Another one of those, that might be it. That is it. Oh my. I think that was some questionable DI. I think I, he was DIing for back air. Yeah, I agree, I agree. It looks like the DI was uh, a little bit further in than you initially expect for a late hit up air, because, I mean, when you see Dare, basically when you see a Falco hit you, it's like, all right, they're ending this combo in back air. I should prep for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I, I think he was just dead to back air, right? Uh, probably. We probably so, saw the heaviest in the world. Well, so it's the sort of, I mean, he's decently heavy, but even then, Falco back here is very strong. So it's the sort of thing where 
D like, if you're going to die to back air anyway, DI for the edge case. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, there's no point in playing to, you know, you're, you're already losing at that point if he hits you. And then, for instance, if he goes for something like forward air, you have all the time in the world to react to that. Be or even neutral air or whatever. You can react to that because of the nature of the multi-hit. All right, but here they are going right back to Smashville, and hey, it makes sense, right? Nothing about the stage did you wrong. Surely just, hey, I got to react to DI a little bit better, and that's all fun. Not only that, I think the stage was working out fantastically for Vivi. The way that he would just camp underneath that platform and then sort of use it also to bait Tilde into using these unsafe drag downs. You know, Falco loves to come at you from above, but with that platform is in the way like that, it just... He ends up having to instead go for drag downs immediately underneath it. And as long, the more they play in center stage, the more that Tilde wants to come down vertically with these punishes, and the more space you have in order to get away from Falco whenever you feel the need to. I want to point out Tilde has been walking everywhere. And that's so threatening when you have just a mobile, massive, disjointed anti air like Falco's up tilt. Not only is Falco's up tilt an incredible button, but you're making Vivi uh, fail to utilize one of Lucario's best tools, that being neutral air. And speaking of best tools, that that frame one reflector really putting a lot of respect on uh, on Tilde's name. Ooh. But that's the I, I don't, is down air to side be a true combo, or sometimes. does he have what? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Yeah, it's the nature of Lucario where aura can sometimes help you just as much as it can hurt you, depending. Down air one is a true combo at mid auras when your opponent's at mid high percents. It just sometimes you don't get that exact window, but it is still a pressure tool. Oh, this is looking similar to game one, but even worse for Tilde. And then finally, another one of those. I think that was another one of those up airs. That time he did it correctly, but too late. He was going to die from it regardless. Yeah, yeah, at 145, that's certainly gonna happen. And, hey, shout out to Lucario's F tilt. You do have to respect that button. It's surprisingly big and two hits. Oh, I thought that down air was gonna come. Right? You, you never know when Tilde is just gonna like. Hey, I'll I'll, tra I'll trade stocks here. That's yeah, fine. I think Vivi hesitated just a second. It was the smallest bit of weight, but that was enough to avoid that down air that would have you know, ended his entire lead that he had worked so hard to be building. Oh, speaking of leads being ended. Okay, getting back to mid That's both of these players all the time. You see them going for, you know, Lucario up B. Oh, 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 okay. Um, he did not want that F smash. He still gets the force bomb, but he did not want that F smash. That's supposed oh. to be like Orsphere, Orsphere back air, or Orsphere, or Orsphere up air. Oh, and speaking of back airs. <laughs> oh. That's one thing we haven't really seen this uh, this set is at least from uh, Tilde. You know, he'll do dra he'll like drop the platform and try to drag down you know, forward air or something like that. But just a quick down and back air, which is normally a really good tool. Oh my god, the, 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 the very slight angling to actually punish Vivi for trying to go for down air. Oh man, these tiny little adjustments. It feels like, you know, the stage was really working out for Vivi in game one. This time around, Tilde seems to have turned this stage in his own favor. And he's passed the magic number though. 65 is that magic number where Aura stops hurting you and starts helping you. As in it, its multiplier becomes over one. So at 86 now, Falco is going to reach kill percent about, give it five or 10%, and then we'll uh, go for the He's at death percent now. <laughs> now he is. A little extra percent on Vivi does the same thing. Oh, that, the rising there, or the pressure of the platform, get down to a back air. Sometimes it's true, you always have to be prepared for it. That's kind of the big thing with Lucario. Whenever things are true, it gets devastating. Things start, aren't always true. And the Phantasm... Did you notice the fact that he cannot go for those high recoveries anymore? The Phantasm is ready and waiting for him if he even tries. Another forward air putting him way off, but Vivi just barely surviving. <gasps> he tries to go for down tilt, but just frames away from connecting. And it, guess what they killed anyway? Vivi alive at 173. And at that point, like once he gets back to neutral, it's an even game. All right. Oh, I thought he didn't have an aura sphere in order to throw at the phantasm. So this is just neutral. You have to play neutral. The car at 73. Ooh. He expected the aura sphere to hit higher. Not going and on, but that's a bad angle. That's a bad angle on Tilde because they they didn't come up from the bottom. I want to. I want to. All right. Yeah. Let's this. get the, the 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 total play here. 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch. He's he's expecting the back air. Oh, yeah, yeah he expected up air. Look at this angle. Look at this. Look at this angle that he got. Come on, come on. Thirty FPS. Come on. Yeah. Boom. This right here. Or sphere hits that. Or sphere hits that. You gotta come so, from lower. Could he? And if even he then, came it, from lower, because he was down there pretty far. You think that if he, he if he comes from for... if he comes from lower, then his hitbox in order to get clipped by the ore sphere is a little bit thinner, and because of the timing that VV threw it, it would go right past him. But VV recognizing the situation and goes for the ore sphere anyway, because it's it'll still go for the it'll still attempt to two frame, and it's still worth it to throw out. Yep, and now we're moving into game three. And this is the sort of thing where if you are Tilde, you probably thought you had it in the bag. I mean, if you yeah. if you are really if you are a really astute player, you know that you never have it in the bag against Lucario, but it can be so easy to forget that. It can be so easy to forget that, oh yeah, no, he's at 173 and I'm at 30. I could die at any moment. Uh, you know, just like two hits and you might be gone. Yeah, you have to you have to close out these stocks against no Lucario. Time. That's still fine because E speed oh. is crazy, but no text, and oh. he messed up the angle. He could have just. I, you know what? I respect it because going straight up against Falco and that down air, and especially a prolific edge guarder like Tilde, you want to be a little bit creative, but the only way you're reaching ledge there is by just holding straight up. Right, that's a, yikes, that's a big starter for Tilde. 72, but okay. nothing. And the reset. <laughs> it keeps going. Vivi at 98% here. Although I think that because he is a stock down, this might be like Max Aura at this point. Uh, Max Aura is 190, so. Well, he's... but when you have a stock deficit, you get it earlier, don't you? Uh, yes, but it's still like 150, so. <laughs> well, oh, look at those hands. That's Max Aura right we're now. All, we're almost there. 140, yeah. This is where Expo uh, Force Palm Flame will start just killing out, right? But the down to. Man, these are just. This that, is a controlled situation if you're Tilde. Yeah, that was such an important down tilt. Because in that moment, if Tilde had died, then he'd be respawning against the Lucario at 172. And, I mean, look at what he can do even when he doesn't have any aura. VB managing to, you know, this is not great for him. Yeah, with but at the same time, it's Lucario. Yeah. With every stock down, Lucario basically adds another 20-ish percent to their aura. So instead of at 70, they're at 90. Like, give or take. You still want the aura, but having a stock down only makes it easier, especially for a character that isn't as isn't the heaviest. Like Falco, solidly on the midweight side, so you find you find an F smash around 10% later, or at the ledge, and this is uh, this is looking mighty dangerous. Same with these backers, and he's looking for that win condition. And make no mistake, that is the win condition for BB at this point. Ooh. Oh, but he was DI left, absolutely yep. DI left. I think he just wasn't expecting the back air to launch him all the way. He was probably thinking about, oh, he's going to try to reverse the back air to send him to the right side. But it's the sort of thing where, once again, if that happened, he was dead anyway, right? Right. So just DI for the case where maybe you might live. It's hard to do in the moment, obviously, you know. But... Uh, I, I, you know, he might have been thinking, like, oh, he hasn't been finishing combos with back air very frequently at these mid-high percents. They've been waiting for, like, the exact situation where backer would start killing it's like oh he's gonna go for like rising nair and try and set up for an edge guard maybe put me off stage or but maybe even sort of drag thing. down where any of those multi hits you can wait and react to them and di them however you want you'd smash di them before you even figure out how you di them